welcome back to weekly Korean live class and my name is Kejun. 안녕하세요, Kejun입니다. And 안녕하세요, Chim Chim. <laughs> yes, Chim Chim is not here. If you've watched my video last week, you already know that I'm in my 부모님 집 or 부모님 댁. It means I'm in my parents' house. I didn't bring Chim Chim because Chim Chim is so precious and I don't want him to get dirty. <laughs> so I tried to put Chim Chim at home only. Instead, I have new friends. New friends. If you watched my video last week, you probably know these guys. Yes, <laughs> I found these guys. So today, these will be your friends. Do you know the Kakao Talk? This is a Korean messenger as I mentioned last week. So it's like Korean character of what's, WhatsApp. <laughs> you use what's... Oh no, they want to sleep. <laughs> they want to sleep. <laughs> okay, great. So how are you guys? Thank you so much for joining today's class. And today's topic is Jan. how to use AND. Yes, this is beginners, beginners grammar, which means it's so important, so common, and it's not very difficult. So please keep watching this video. And I already see lots of comments from other people. Yay! <laughs> 안녕하세요, Gaelon. Today I'm reading the uh, Facebook first. Uh, Francois Muscan, great, great, great. Thank you, thank you. And of course, on Facebook too. So, Somi, 안녕하세요. And Shirsty, learn Japanese. Yes, don't let, don't let Chim Chim get dirty because Chim Chim is so important. And <laughs> Meet, 감사합니다. And Kwati, Sumi, Emily, Tanzi, Nikki, Pratisha, Wellington, and Nene. <laughs> Okay, so I keep reading your comments, so please keep writing. And Jasmine and Bahavi, Chim Chim is there, Chim Chim is in my place, not in my parents' house. And Frashi, 안녕하세요. A cloud on! 내일 생일이에요? 생일 축하합니다. Kejin, Bongsua, this is afternoon here, so. Bongju. <laughs> Okay, so before starting our lesson, as you all know, I have announcement, right? Announcement. So let me show you uh, what you can see if you click the link in the description. Yes, this is our live page. What can you do here? Well, I make a lesson note every single week whenever I do the live because my live is just 30 minutes. 30분, 30분, 30 minutes, and it's not enough. So I put more examples, I put more explanation there. So you can check out my lesson note, this PDF lesson note uh, that you can download for free on Korean Class 101. So I get the question, same question every week, like, oh, do I have to pay for this? No, you do not need to pay for this. So we do have paid membership to unlock thousands of Korean lessons, but to unlock my lessons on this page, everything is free, as long as you have koreanclass101.com uh, account. So just enter your email and tchan, there are so many things to download because I've been doing this live and streaming for many, many, many years. So look at this. Whew, so everything is free. So you can check out my video plus download this PDF lesson note there. There are so many, so I hope you will enjoy that. <laughs> okay, so since we have all our regular students waiting for today's class, today's lesson, let's start, let's start. I can't scroll down until the end, so you can check it out later whenever you want. Okay, my cute friends, <laughs> our new friends, 친구, 친구. friends. <laughs> okay, so I have this -da 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 -dan, this note. So this will be what we are going to cover today. First, I'm going to talk about the meaning, meaning. And second, we are going to talk about the conjugation. How can you conjugate like verb or adjective? 
and also we have this ida this is a little bit different from the conjugation for verb and adjective so what is different that's what i'm going to introduce that today and also what if i want to uh add some tense like future tense past tense what happens i introduce that too and then let's practice and we got the donation Chris씨 감사합니다 yay <laughs> i hope you enjoy learning korean with me today too <laughs> Cute friend say something too. As you probably remember, they can speak. 반가워요. And 반가워요. <laughs> they record my voice and they speak. <laughs> oh, they are so nice. They can literally speak. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the meaning first. As you already know, it means end. <laughs> end. Yes, that's it. It's very simple. <laughs> But everyone, everyone loves them speaking. <laughs> yes. Yes, by the way, 반가워요 means nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, uh, bye, Ravi for adding that, writing that. Yes, 반가워요 means nice to meet you. And Lovasua and Muskan, Francois and Galon, all good? <laughs> so it means end. But please be careful. This end can be only used for connecting verbs or adjectives. Yes, verb or adjectives. Do you want to conjugate um, nouns like strawberries and apple or sky and the moon no i'm sorry but this one this is not possible you can only conjugate verb or adjective such as they are cute and funny <laughs> cute and funny so this is an adjective right cute and funny or they can sing and dance sing and Dance. So this is verb, right? This is possible, but with this ku ku, you cannot conjugate nouns. For nouns, you can use other nouns, other nouns such as um, haku haku, for example, subak haku, gam, <laughs> watermelons, and persimmon. Subak haku gam, or there are other other uh words but we are not going to focus on other words today we are going to focus on only ku today so please remember ku ku is used for end and is only connects verb or adjective and a lot of people are asking are they bts they are not bts characters are the from another messenger called line 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 but these are The characters from Kakao Talk. Kakao Talk. <laughs> so they are different, different characters. Not BTS, but they are still cute and they are very popular in Korea. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. So next, let's talk about the conjugation. Conjugation. How does it work? Uh, so, first, as someone said, we just need to get stem plus ku. Stem plus ku. That's right. That's that's so. So, what is the stem? Do you know stem? But actually, I was just confused. This one is actual character from line. <laughs> yes, I think they are from line. I use both characters. So I was confused. Yes, they are from line. <laughs> anyway, let's focus on the lesson. So what is the stem? Stem is very simple. So for example, I have a um, verb. 
verb. Mm, my verb for today is 청소하다. 청소하다. <laughs> Oh, who in the box? How long are these classes? Usually it's 30 minutes, but we already spent 20 minutes or so, uh, 10 minutes. So I think we will have 20 minutes or 25 minutes. So 청소하다. All the Korean verb or adjective end with 다, 다, 다. Mm. So just remove 다. Then you only have 청소하, right? This is a st stem. So verb or adjective without 다 is a stem. So 청소하고, 청소하고. Ah, we need, for nouns, we need another words like nouns. I actually have full lesson about it, so I'm not going to focus about it. But, uh, and is 하고, or 랑, or 이랑 or 와 or 과 so we have a lot of words and I already did a full lesson about it so check it out if you want to know more about it <laughs> so 짠 청소하고 청소하고 it means clean and oh it seems incomplete right in English clean and clean and what same in Korean 청소하고 is incomplete Definitely, we need another verb here, here. And in English too, we need another verb here, right? But let's practice the conjugation first with ko. So let's put uh, the other verb later. Another verb that I prepared is kada. Kada meaning to go. You go to school, you go to Korea. Kada. Aha! It ended with ta again, yes. So just remove ta. Ka is a stem. Ka is a stem. So you just put go. Ka go. Ka go. And you need a verb again. A verb or adjective. But let's practice the conjugation first. So ka go means to go, to go, and something. I need verb too. How about this? Bokta. Mm, yum, yum, yum. To eat. So what's the stem? Now you understand the stem, right? What is the stem? Without ta, mok is the stem. Mok is the stem. And you just put ku. Mmm, so easy. <laughs> mok ku. And mok ta means to eat and something. So this is how you conjugate it. It's very simple. You just take out ta at the end and put ku. Replace ta with ku. That's it. This is how you conjugate it. Then, then let's try the longer one. Mm, what can we do? What can we do? So first, we have this. Mm, kada and 먹다. I want to conjugate this. I want to say, I go and eat. I go and eat. How can you say that? It's very simple. First, kada. Mm? It ended with ta. But I want to say kada and mokta. Oops. And mokta. So how can you do that? Just remove ta. You have ka. And replace kada ta with ko. Kago. Mokta. Mokta. Oh, teacher, you don't need to say mokku, kagu mokku. No, just like English. In English, you put end, end once, right? When there are two, two verb or uh, adjectives, you just use end once. So it's the same. We put ku after the first noun, first, first verb or first adjective, kagu. 먹다, 가구, 먹다. For the last verb or adjective, you don't need to conjugate with 고, 고, 고. Because it means end. So if you say 가구, 먹고, it, it means I go and eat and. I go and eat and. So it's incomplete. So 
please don't forget that you put ko ko uh, after the first word first verb or adjective first verb or adjective you don't put at the end 가고 먹다 by the way 먹다 is a dictionary form so when i want to say when i want to speak like mm, i eat uh, i go and eat i want to say polite spoken form as a lot of you already said 먹어요 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 가고 먹어요 가고 먹어요 로이 킴 안녕하세요 아 가일론 that's a very good example so now let's conjugate with this 춥다 and 덥다 do you know what is 춥다? <웃음> 춥다 means cold <웃음> it's cold you feel cold you feel cold and 덥다 is opposite Ah, it's hot. 덥다, 춥다, and 덥다. So how can you conjugate it? 춥다. Hmm, it ended with 다 again. Hmm. Let me remove 다 and put 고, which means end. And 덥다. It means cold. It's cold and hot. Cold and hot. But, but, as you noticed, I didn't put 고 at the end of the verb the, so last verb or adjective is 춥고 덥다 it's not 춥고 덥고 <laughs> it's 춥고 덥고 it's not like that it's 춥고 덥다 but again 덥다 is a, it's just like robot it's just a dictionary form so i want to change it to spoken form when i actually speak i often use a or yo you form as you see this let's change it to Spoken form is 더워요, 더워요. If you want to know more about this you form, the sp polite spoken form, please, please, please check out my other video. This present tense video where you ending video. So you can learn more about it. So today we focus on ko only. And Steven, you're watching from Facebook today. <laughs> Jasmine, can you teach some Korean words in another video? Of course. And even today's video too, you will learn many words. <laughs> 춥고 더워요. Uh, Nikhil, very good. Very good. So are you okay with this conjugation? Verb or adjective? I think everyone is doing an amazing work. Amazing job. Okay, so let's move on to 이다. Mm, 이다 is different. So what is the difference so do you know ida by the way ida it means like to be it's like it's not exactly same as to be in english but it's kind of similar since it's a different language it can be exactly the equivalent right but it's similar somewhat <laughs> are is so it's kind of like to be so for example it's a book in Korean is 책이다 책이다 so it means it's a book it's a book uh, and do you know how to say notebook? it's 공책 공책이다 so it means it's a notebook it's a notebook so 책이다 공책이다. All good? You understand 이다 now? 이다? Now, how can you conjugate it? How can you conjugate it? Let's say this or it is a book and a notebook. It is a book and notebook. That is 책 이다. Oh, it ended with 다. Ah, now I need to conjugate it with 고. 고. Oops. 고. 책이고. And 공책이다. That's right. 책이고, 공책이다. 책이고, 공책이다. Oh. Mm. But this 이다 is not spoken form. I'm not a robot. I want to use the 
I'm, a, I, I'm not a dictionary. I want to use a spoken form. 공책 이에요. 공책이에요. 책이고 공책이에요. This is a book and a notebook. 음, 이것은 책이고 공책이에요. So the conjugation is same as same as this normal verb or adjective, right? But the hard part is this. Imagine I'm a scientist and I created new fruits. <laughs> so 사과 is a it's an apple. It's an apple. But it can also be a strawberry. So I want to say this is an apple and a strawberry. Wow. <laughs> Such a weird example, but just for uh, practicing the conjugation. 사과이다. 공, oops. 딸기이다. 사과이다. And 딸기이다. Mm, it means 사과이다 is an apple, 딸기이다 is a strawberry. But I want to say it's an apple and a strawberry. So, as you can guess, it's 사과이고 딸기이다. Ah, but this is a dictionary form, so I want to change it to spoken form, which is Oops, 이에요. 사과이고 딸기 딸기 이에요. Do you say this? You shorten this as 예요, right? These two 사과이고 actually okay. It's grammatically okay, but when the words end with a vowel, you remove 이. 사과고 딸기예요. Does it make sense? So for 이다 이다. This is why I put it as a separate category, not verb or adjective like this. I put it as a separate category because when you use ida, when you use ida, and when something comes, um, the noun ending with ending in a consonant, you can use ego, ego. But when noun ending in a vowel, you can use e go to. It's not wrong, by the way. It's not wrong. But you can omit e. Omit e. So 사과 고 딸기예요. Or imagine, um, I bought. Hmm, Imagine Chim Chim is a student. 학생이다. And Chim Chim is also a teacher. 교사이다. Or 교사다 is okay, but 교사이다. Mm. So Chim Chim is a student and also a teacher. Then how can you say that? John. You can say 침침이는 as for 침침 학생이고 교사 교사예요 I'm changing to spoken form So now you understand it, right? 학생이다 You just remove 다 and put 고 교사예요 Because 침침 teach Korean to you and also 침침 learns science <laughs> so Chimchim can be a student too. And imagine I want to change the word order. Chimchim is a teacher and also a student. In that case, you can also say John Chimchiminen Kyosa Igu Hakseng Ieyu. This is okay. This is okay. Chimchiminen Kyosa Igu. 학생이에요. This is okay. But since 교사, 교사, 아, 아, it ended with vowel sound, I remove 이. <laughs> 침침이는 교사고 학생이에요. <laughs> Steven, that's good. <laughs> I agree. 침침 is an excellent student and teacher. <laughs>
<笑>えんあさくら Yes! 책하고 공책이에요 That's very good <웃음> 책하고 공책이에요 And what is the difference between 책하고 공책이에요 And 책이고 공책이에요 Do you know the difference between this? So 책하고 공책이에요 means This is a book and this is notebook So it's just connecting the noun noun, But 책이고 공책이에요 means It can be a book and note at the same time At the same time At the same time This, can, this is just one book But it can be a book it's, also, it's a book and it can also be a note But this can also mean a different meaning It's like you want to emphasize This is check This is a book and this is notebook 책이고 This is check This is 공책 So you just want to emphasize That's why you are using the verb But first, first sentence is Clearly there are separate, separate nouns This is book and this is 공책 This one, you need to see the context. It can mean this one book can be book and also works as notebook. So it's, it's two function. But this one also can mean... So you have to see the context. Context. So is, are you connecting the verb and adjective or are you connecting nouns only? So that's the difference. 침침이는 교사고 학생이에요. This is a book and notebook. Both. Practice. That's right. That's right. So, 책이고 공책이에요. 책이고 공책이에요. So, most cases, this one, as practice said, it has just one. For example, I'm a student and I'm a teacher too. So, I'm just one. There's no two cases, right? But I'm, I'm a, a teacher and a student too. So, I can be both. I can be both. But, uh, 선생님하고, 선생님하고 학생이에요. Then it's clearly there's one teacher and there's one student. Okay, I hope you understand this and, and let's continue. <laughs> and for tense, yes, what if, now I'm using the present tense only, but what if, I want to uh, put some tense like I studied, studied, and I cleaned, cleaned. Yesterday I studied and cleaned. I was very busy. So how can I say that? First, 공부하다. And uh, 청소하다. 공부하다 means to study. And 청소하다, we already talked about it, right? It's to clean. So if I conjugate this for a, as a present tense, present tense, oops, um, mm, imagine this is a present tense. So, 공부하고, right? And 청소해요, 청소해요, mm, so natural in the present tense. It's present but imagine you want to say i studied and cleaned in that case what is the past tense of 공부하다 do you know this the past tense is 공부했다 공부했다 and you put 고 and 청소했다 But 했다 is again, it's ending with 다 uh, It's not spoken form I want to change to natural spoken form Which is 청소했어요 It's past But there is a good news You can say this way But this is not a very very common Usually in Korean We say 공부하고 청소했어요 So you put the tense, tense in the last verb, last verb or adjective, last verb or adjective. So you can say that if you want to emphasize 
I stood it, stood it and cleaned. <웃음> 공부했고 청소했어요. If you want to emphasize, but normal cases, you don't need to think about the tense before go. You just put with the dictionary form, the root form, the original form. So 공부하고 청소했어요. You put the past tense to the last verb or adjective. Practice, yes, that's right. You can use it this way, this way too if you want, but it's not very common. So you just put past tense to the last, last verb, last verb or adjective. <laughs> okay, so is it confusing? But actually when you speak Korean, this is less confusing because if you have to use the past tense before go, then you have to think more. <laughs> Like, okay, it's 공부하다, but it has to change to past form. So it's 공부했다, uh, it changed to go, 공부했고. So it's actually harder. <laughs> harder. So when you use 고, 고, just remember, you just conjugate with the original form, the dictionary form. You conjugate, 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 conjugate. And then at the end, ah, what's the tense? Ah, it's past tense. Ah, it's a future tense. So you only need to conjugate the tense at the end at the end so it's actually easier it's actually easier <laughs> yes take your time and you will use to it so when you use ko again i want to emphasize this just always conjugate with the dictionary form like 공부하고 청소하고 운동하고 밥 먹고 카페 가고 tv를 봤어요 so you put the tense to the last verb or adjective. That's it. Korean is easy. Yes, meet. <웃음> 가일론 공부하고 일했어요. 저도요. Me too. <웃음> okay, so this is a tense. Then let's practice. Let's practice. I have some verb and adjective for you. <웃음> so imagine... Um, I bought a computer. I bought a computer. Computer가 음, 빠르다. 빠르다 means fast. I bought a new computer and it's so fast. That's very good. 좋아요. <laughs> and that computer is also cheap. So can you conjugate, conjugate this now? <laughs> I want to say... Uh, my computer, my computer, or let's try this. Then this computer is fast and cheap. This computer is fast and cheap. Can can you conjugate it? So hint. This computer, this is e computer in Korean is computer. Computer nun. It's a particle. So I want to say, uh, as for this computer, 빠르다. 빠르다 meaning to be fast or to be quick. 싸다. 싸다. It means cheap. Cheap. <laughs> Done. I already got the answers. Very good. Kailon and Pratisha and so the answer is 이 컴퓨터는 빠르다 Oh, it ended with 다 Let's replace 다 with 고 주르르르 고 싸다 음, 싸다 is is grammatically all correct But, you know, I want to change to spoken form Because I want to speak I want to use this phrase to my friends So, 싸요 싸요 Spoken form this computer is fast and cheap. What if I want to say uh, this computer is fast, cheap, and 가볍다. 가볍다. How can you conjugate it? By the way, 가볍다 means to be light. It's not heavy. It's not heavy at all. 가볍다, to be light. To be light. And I want to say this computer is fast, Cheap and light. How can you say that? Anyone knows the answer? 
because this time I'm putting three different adjectives. We've practiced only two verbs or two adjectives, but now I want to put three adjectives. How can you conjugate it? Hmm. How can you conjugate it? So let's try this. 이 컴퓨터는 first, first. 빠르다. 오. Aquatic almost practice a very good and learn Japanese. That's right. So it's 빠르다. O o o o. It ended with 다. So let me replace it with 고 빠르고. 싸다. O o o. I need to conjugate with another another uh, adjective or noun and adjective or verb. So 고 싸고 가벼. 가볍다. Again, this is a dictionary form, so I'm changing to 가벼워요. 이 컴퓨터는 빠르고 싸고 가벼워요. 이 컴퓨터는 빠르고 싸고 가벼워요. This computer is fast, cheap, and light. Please remember, in English, you used and only once, right? Like this. If I change this to English, it will be like this. This computer is fast, cheap, and light. You put and before the last uh, adjective, noun, or verb, right? Just And you use just once. In Korean, it's different. Whenever, whenever there is um, two adjectives or two verbs or three verbs or five verbs, five adjectives, you always put go, go. But you just don't use go to the last verb or adjective. Make sense? You always conjugate with go, go, go. So it's like you put the this ap apostrophe. <laughs> so this point. Jan. <laughs> so you use in English, right? But just imagine that in Korean we use go, go. If you want, you can put this like this. But this is not necessary. Some people put it in Korean, some people don't put it in Korean, so you can choose. You can choose. So we use like this. It's comma, by the way. Comma, yes. I these days I forgot the words. <laughs> so you can put this comma or you can omit this, but it's up to you. <laughs> so always put ku ku. Okay, so we learned a lot today. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Learn Japanese is comma. <laughs> So today we learned a lot. We learned ku ku is to connect verb or adjective. When you want to connect nouns, we use different words such as 하고, 이랑, 와. Mm, that's right. So I already did a full lesson about this uh, in my another video. So check it out if you want to learn more about it. But ku is to be used to connect verb or adjective in english is translated to end and the conjugation is very simple you just put stem and ku. for example 청소하다 청소하다 is the full verb it's a dictionary form original form of the verb 청소하다 remove 다 and replace ku and 청소하고 and put another verb like this 가다 plus 먹다 is 가 가구 가구 먹다, 가고, 먹어요. Mm, good. <laughs> and 가다, 가다. Mm, so remove uh, 다 and put 고. And we have 이다. 이다 is same as this rule, just 10 plus 고. But just one thing you need to remember is if a noun ends in a vowel, then you can put 고 instead of 이고. 이고. 이고 is okay. It's good too. It's grammatically correct. But if you want, you can just put 고 only. It's, for example, 교사이고 is okay. 교사이고. 교사이고 is okay. Mm. But Korean people love shortening 교사이고, 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 교사이고. When you pronounce it quickly, you can omit 고. So it becomes 교사고. 교사고. So only for 이다, not other cases. Like 청소하다, 가구, 먹고, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just always use 
the stem but here the stem is e da e da right so you are supposed to use e but you can omit it if you want now we have tense we have tense so for present tense is simple that's it but for past tense for past tense this is very common you just use the present tense the dictionary form connect 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 a lot of verb or adjective but only to the last verb or adjective you put the tense you put the tense and we practice this when there are three or four or five verb or adjective you always put ko, ko after the verb or adjective always connect with ko 빠르고 싸고 but to the last verb or adjective you just you just use the regular form like uh, spoken form or future tense or anything <laughs> but you don't need to put ko to the last verb or adjective and I saw your question so what is the comma in Korean comma in Korean is 심표 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 and what is the period the last zan, point that is 마침표 마침표 심표 and 마침표 what is this is 큰 따옴표 큰 따옴표 as you can see there is always 표 표 표 right so it means like kind of like symbol symbol <laughs> so it's 큰 따옴표 큰 means big big 따옴표 because there are two so it's big then now you can guess what is this right because it's just one so it's not big it's small 작은 따옴표 작은 따옴표 작은 작은 means small so 작은 따옴표 <laughs> okay 수미 teacher say some 부산 사투리 by the way I haven't lived in that area so I can't I can't imitate them <laughs> so if someone was me speaking their Busan dialect in a weird way they they got mad like oh, it's weird <laughs> and Kailong comes <laughs> on yeah so it's like Pamuna Pamuna Pam Bogosa in Seoul dialect is standard Korean <laughs> okay so thank you everyone I hope you learned a lot today and if you want to practice more Korean ja -ja 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 -ja, we have homework please try to conjugate these words like how can i say study and exercise 공부하다 means study to study 운동하다 means to exercise so how can i say i study and exercise and now we have 쉽다 easy <laughs> and 재미있다 means fun so how can i say mm, it's easy and fun just like korean korean is fun and easy <laughs> and 재밌다 and now let's try to use the clause the long sentence longer longer one so I want to say I take pictures and I eat 떡볶이 one of my favorite Korean food <laughs> I take picture 사진을 찍다 and 떡볶이를 먹다 meaning to eat 떡볶이 so please leave a comment on Korean class YouTube and Facebook Korean class 101 YouTube and Facebook if you personally want me to check uh, you can post it on your Instagram story and tag my ID like this then I repost with correction okay so next week I'll be back again and we are going to talk about Korean tongue twisters yes <laughs> did you know that a lot of uh, top a very popular uh, performance performancer <laughs> entertainers use tongue twisters before their performance like before singing or before before speaking so this is actually very very good exercise for your tongue <laughs> to make your Korean tongue muscle so to pronounce Korean words clearly you actually need a Korean 
tongue muscle. You need Korean muscle to pronounce the word. And this Korean tongue, uh, tongue twister will be very useful. So please join it next week again. And I introduce lots of Korean tongue twisters and we will practice together. And oh, Kwati, 감사합니다. Thank you so much for the donation. Yeah, 감사합니다. <laughs> oh, Park Jimin's birthday from BTS. Happy birthday! Yay! <laughs> 감사합니다. And 생일 축하합니다. <laughs> oh, Nikki, missing Chim Chim so much. I know. Chim Chim will be back next week. Next week, 1 p.m. in Korean time. So please join the class again if you love to see Chim Chim again. Instead, this, I'm sorry, I said line. <laughs> I said uh, cacao characters, but actually, these are the line characters. Yes, I use both messengers, so I was confused, like, which one of which? <laughs> yes, this one is from LINE. <laughs> so, 감사합니다. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye, Nabi, -bye. Uh, <laughs> Keijin, learn Japanese. Kwati, Acid Great, Nikhil, uh, Fiestas, Pratisha, Keijin, Kimana, and Sumi, <laughs> and Kailon and Roji, 감사합니다. 다음 주에 봐요. 바이바이.